Boruto could be the awesome Suki god in human form. This theory sounded really weird a few months back, but since the introduction of Shiba Asusuki, it has started to make a lot of sense. The blue eyed boy could be the reincarnation of Shiba, and the Jogun is a living proof of it. But are there actually more hints in the story that propose the same idea? So let's figure out how this weird sounding speculation might actually turn out to be true with some solid theories. The idea of Shiba Asusuki being reborn as Boruto comes from the fact that the unseen dojutsu of the celestial race that has awakened in Boruto's right eye actually belongs to the Asusuki god. Apart from the horn similarity that I have mentioned before, there could be some strong purpose behind Shiba's reincarnation as a human being. One of them being Boruto's evolution into a superior being that was also pre-written. This ain't the first time when we have seen the concept of reincarnation in the Naruto verse. The ages old rivalry of Hogoromo's sons, which did not achieve a peaceful resolution, continued with the birth of Hashirama and Madara, the reincarnations of Ashira and Indra. But since the feud didn't come to an end, Naruto and Sasuke became the final reincarnations of Hogoromo's sons, suggesting that their rivalry was just a product of fate. The point to be noted is that they were only 25% Asusukis, while Shiba is literally an Asusuki god. It's very likely that he was reincarnated to fulfill some purpose that was not obtainable otherwise. The Horn and the Jogun were just the minor signs of the reincarnation. The true purpose was actually known by Toneri Asusuki, who made Boruto aware of this power. The reason Tonari sensed Boruto's Jogen could also have something to do with the transmigration of Shibai's soul. Just like Ashura and Indra, there must have been many reincarnations of Shibai even before Boruto, but none of them were able to fulfill the divine purpose which made his soul restless. Boruto's life having several twists and turns must have convinced Shibai to make him the chosen one. The part of Momoshiki's prophecy where he warns him of the dark fate must be a sneaky way for the monster to take him over forever. Tonari must have not foreseen Momoshiki taking over Boruto which makes him nothing more than a personal headache to the blue eyed boy, something that's more of a consequence to his actions rather than predestined fate. A thing which needs to be noted is that ever since Boruto was brought back to life, Momoshiki's goals have changed. He does not want to revive himself anymore, rather he wants to steal the life of Boruto Uzumaki, possibly because he knows that his vessel is Shiba's reincarnation and it would be a lot easier to become an Asusuki god if he becomes the owner of his consciousness. The monster is trying his best to change Boruto's destiny, but that is just the tip of the iceberg. A surprising fact is that Amaru specifically mentioned Shiba using wind, water and lightning jutsu. Boruto also happens to have three chakra natures, wind, water and lightning. This is not a coincidence at all. Kishimoto is definitely putting on the best foreshadowing to make Boruto an epitome of peak fiction. The other manga of the Naoto author, Samurai 8, could also help us to understand what truly lies in Boruto's fate in relation to the Asusuki god. Even though the manga failed terribly, it can give us some baseline to predict the ultimate fate of Boruto's story. We know that Shiba Asusuki had become mortal upon reaching the god stature, he left his body and ascended to a higher realm. A similar concept can be found in Samurai 8 manga, where a character named Fudo Muyo, who is a warrior god, lives in a higher plane of existence. Later towards the end of the series, Hashimaru also achieves godhood and becomes a purely spiritual being. A person who reaches this stature basically becomes one with all the information that makes up the universe. Well, the story of Boruto might not run down the exact path, but it does explain what's about to go down in the life of the blue-eyed boy. He might not become the Asusuki god. God, but he will definitely fulfill the purpose that Shiba couldn't. So what could it possibly be? To find the answer to this question, we will need to find out the limitations that Shiba faced as the Asusuki god, which forced him to leave this realm and let Boruto complete his legacy. Since he was an Asusuki being, he must have been born with the will to devour planets and consume their chakra fruits. Countless sacrifices must have been made to generate thousands of divine fruits, which turned him into a superior being. All this hassle bastle must have made him realize that this system of his race is totally corrupt and needs a reformation. He could not do this himself, maybe because he just wanted entertainment instead of grinding himself to reform his race. That's why he chose Boruto, who was already predestined to become an Asusuki. The constant Asusuki attacks and a few major battles with the members of this clan will definitely persuade Boruto to do something about them. Another major influence of Shibai on Boruto's life has something to do with his moon Mitsuki. Shibai Asusuki could be inspired from a Hindu mythological creature Shiva, who is the destroyer god. And the engrossing part is that Shiva is always seen with a snake around his neck, while Mitsuki Suki's name turns out to be Snake Moon and since he considers Boruto his son, this theory makes a hell lot of sense. The closest comrade to Boruto Mitsuki, who has some straightforward connection to the moon and possibly Toneri also, could be the one involved in the Jogun's awakening. What we know is that the Jogun is a Shinjutsu or a divine power, so its awakening could also be phenomenal and unusual as compared to other Dojutsu awakenings that we have seen before. The second flash forward sequence could be the time when the Jogun will finally awaken through the actions of Kawaki and Mitsuki. The Red Kama wielder must have struck Boruto's right eye in this sequence in hopes of killing Momoshiki once for all. 
This incident enraged Mitsuki on another level and he's ready to have a death match with Kawaki. And guess what? He'll obviously end up in a bad position and after Boruto will witness this, the pure Shinjutsu shall awaken in his right eye, marking the start of his divine journey. The fact that Shibai Osusuki and Fudomuyo turn into 5th dimensional beings, I believe Boruto might have the ability to manipulate time through his Jogen. There must be some ability involving time exclusive to the Jogen, since the Senringan is also Shibai's ability and it's able to look back into the past as well as anywhere around the real world. The Jogen might have the power to reverse time, after all there is no way Boruto could regain everything he lost without such a power. Or it could even have the foresight ability but we have already seen Boruto using it without the Jogen, so that wouldn't make much sense. The best way in which the Jogen could be utilized can be the possibility of this eye becoming a link between Shibai and Boruto. Shibai must be able to tell Boruto how to get rid of Momoshiki and the true purpose that he has been chosen for without the monster catching any glimpse of it. The strong will of becoming the savior of the shinobi world will ultimately make Boruto the protector of the universe. It's pretty much clear that Boruto could be Shibai's reincarnation. However, there are still many mysteries around this mysterious character, the biggest of them being how Amado found his powers if he has shifted to a higher plane of existence. I think there are some more Osuskis on the planet who have been sealed by Amado. These Osuskis upon meeting the scientists must have given him the remains of Shibai. However, he had to seal them through some scientific sealing techniques, most probably on the orders of Jigen. The destroyed panels could belong to the same pair of alien beings, while the Lao Chan that Momoshiki has identified could also belong to them. The scientist is being reluctant in revealing the entire picture and he doesn't even know if Akebi's karma would turn her into an Osutsuki or not. If it does turn her into one, then I feel like she'll be fed to the tentacles in the future, leading to the formation of a divine fruit. Kawaki must have sent everyone to a safer dimension, where he sent Naruto and Hinata. The whole conflict could be based on the power difference of the prodigies who want to decide the fate of shinobis themselves. Kawaki has no idea about Boruto's reincarnation and the divine power, so he's definitely gonna lose the battle. The chakra fruit might be destroyed by Boruto, since it would only create an inferiority complex among his pairs, leading to an insane power gap. The Jogan's real role might be to help Boruto in fulfilling the incomplete resolve of Shibai Osusuki, the end of chakra system on planet Earth, and a permanent solution to the Osusuki clan's problem. I have recently posted a marvelous theory on my community tab regarding how Jigen got Shibai's powers, so do check it out later. The introduction of more celestial beings and overlooked plot points could also be on their way. Well, all of these things shall happen after the time skip hits, but the question remains, how will the time skip arrive at first place? Well, if the manga has actually entered its final volume before the transition, then the time skip must be only 3 chapters away. But there are a lot of possibilities for this major event to slide in, one of them being the declaration of the 5th great shinobi war by one and only code. Also could it be that Momoshiki's true purpose is beyond resurrection, something that motivated him to become Boruto himself. Check out these videos to find an answer to these questions. Also subscribe to never miss an upload. I will see you next time.